Number 21, complete and balance the following acid base equations. And then we have letter B. So we have a solution of strontium hydroxide, SROH2, is added, so literally addition, to a solution of nitric acid, HNO3. Okay, so that looks like that's the reaction. They told us that we had SR, OH2, and they're telling us that it's a solution. That means that it's not a solid form or a liquid or a gas, but it's in a solution, so it has to be aqueous. So I'm going to write aqueous next door. And it's literally being added, so plus, right, plus, a solution, so we already know that that's going to be aqueous, of HNO3. Okay, so we have the beginning. Now I just need to know what the products are. Let me just maybe put this in the middle. Perfect. Okay. Now, the good thing with acid-base reactions is that they are just fancy double displacement reactions or double replacement. So we're going to be balancing the same way in which we would have had a double replacement reaction. Okay. The only thing is that this just deals with an acid and a base. So let's get started. I'm going to work with this one first. Now, in order to make the products correctly and without a mistake, what you should do is you should find the charges of the ions that came together by using the crisscross method. So, for example, SROH2, right? There was one strontium and two hydroxides. Crisscross these substrates or subscripts back up to find out what the charges of each one of them was. So this one told me that hydroxide OH was a negative one, and this two told me that strontium was a plus two. So I have that, and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to write out those charges. Now, because I've memorized my polyatomics, I know that hydroxide should always be a negative one charge, so that means that this whole thing is correct. If one is correct, the other ones are going to be correct. And plus, um, Stromptian's in group two on the periodic table, so that works out too. Let's do HNO3. Where is the break? Well, I notice that I have a polyatomic here. NO3 is a polyatomic. So I know that my split, the two things that came together, was an H and an NO3. So I know that there was one hydrogen and this three is part of the whole polyatomic. I only had one polyatomic. Those are the subscripts that you crisscross to get your charges. This one told me that nitrate was a negative one and this one told me that H was a positive one. So I'm just gonna write that down. H was a plus one. And it's in group one on the periodic table, so that makes sense. And nitrate was a negative one, and that's the charge of nitrate every single time. So it makes sense. Now, that's the hardest part. Now we're just going to coast. <laughs> with double displacement reactions, I always like to say that the outers go with the outers and the inners go with the inners. Meaning, when you make your products, the outers will hook up with the outers... So the SR plus 2 will hook up with the NO3 minus 1 as a new product. And the inners hook up with the inners. The OH minus 1 will hook up with the H plus. It doesn't matter which one you start with first. I'll start with the outers. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to write it on the bottom here. So I, my new compound would be strontium, which was a plus 2, and the nitrate, NO3 minus 1. Now we're just doing the opposite. We're crisscrossing these back down to find the compound. This two crisscrossed down, oh my goodness. <laughs> this two crisscrossed down telling me that I needed two nitrates. This one, or the negative one, crisscrossed down telling me that I needed one strontium. So my compound is SR, but I have two polyatomics. What do I got to use, guys? We have to use parentheses. So it would be SR 
parenthesis NO3 2. Plus, now let's do the inners. Now, don't be tempted. You might want to put OH first and then H plus, but remember, um, we'll say standard notation, the positive always comes first and then the negative. So H was a plus one coming in with an OH minus one. And notice how I'm only, I'm only taking information from here. I don't, I don't look at the compounds. Once I have those charges, that's the only thing that I look at. Let's crisscross them down. This one told me that I needed one hydroxide. This one told me that I needed one H. So it technically is H-O-H, but that gets reworded to H-2-O. Now, we have to put the states here. Going by your solubility rules. Oh, and I need to put aqueous here, right? They told me that it was a solution for HNO3, so aqueous. Remember that your solubility rules, if you see a nitrate, all nitrates, all NO3s are soluble. There are no exceptions. So anytime that you see a nitrate, you automatically put an AQ right there. Boop. And then your acid-base equation, right? Acid-base, you mix them together to get water. And water is in the liquid form because that is the solvent. So that's the pure form. It's the liquid. Now we're ready to balance. You can do the chart method like we've been doing in the beginning of this playlist. Um, but I'm going to try to see if I could do it by I. Let's see. I have one nitrate here, right? Because I'm familiar with NO3. So I can group them together. I have one nitrate here, but I have two nitrates here, right? So I want to get two on this side. What can I do in the front, because we could only add coefficients, to get two nitrates? Oh, yeah, I could put a two here. Oh, yeah. Now let's see. Hmm. Um, I have one strontium, right? I have one strontium, so that works. And now maybe let's do the hydrogens. I have, now just be careful here, I have two hydrogens here plus two hydrogens here. So I have a total of four hydrogens, and maybe I can write it out like this. This would tell me I have two plus... I have two hydrogens here, so I have a total of four hydrogens, but I only have two hydrogens on my product side. What would be the coefficient here? Two times what? Two times two. You got it. So I'm just going to put that there. And now I think we should be all good to go. Let's see. There are two oxygens. There's two oxygens. I don't count this oxygen because I already counted it when I did the NO3s. So you can, you can group together polyatomics. You don't have to. You, you could have just did nitrogen and nitrogen, you know, and then grouped all the oxygen together. That's fine with me. Um, but that's, that's it, guys. So this is the completed and balanced uh, acid-base equation. Guys, what do you think? Let me know in the comments if this helped you out. I hope it did. Click that subscribe button. Click the like button, and that would be cool. Thank you. I uh, hope you guys are doing awesome in your classes, and let's keep studying hard, okay? At, at this point in time, we're, what, this is November, so we're almost to winter break. So let's, let's keep going, guys, all right? See you guys in the next lesson. Bye-bye.